टुडे आई एम कमिंग विथ ए न्यू टॉपिक वेन कोच्ची कैन ऑफर ए फ्रेश ब्रेथ ऑफ क्लीन एयर वेदर कोच्ची द इंडस्ट्रियल कैपिटल ऑफ गोड्स ऑन कंट्री एंड ए मेजर टूरिस्ट अट्रैक्शन ईज लूसिंग इट्स नेम बिकॉज ऑफ मिसरबली मैनेज अर्बन वेस्ट वेदर ब्रह्मपुरम इज ए सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट साइट और मियरली ए लैंड फिल वाई इ रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ ऑल द प्रीवियस प्लेसेस operational on site fire fighting facilities were not available whether this fire will also end as one among the repeated blazes occurring year after year at brahmapuram i am dr kuchu baby manuran and you are watching skbm videos episode 27 kerala is fondly called god zone country by old tourists because of its lush green landscapes and crystal clear beaches which make one of struck with all the elements of nature in it kochi leads the state in various aspects and is the most sought after by visitors and has a lot to offer to tourists and travelers but lack of emphasis on the issue of waste management and the miserable failure to institute proper waste management infrastructure at brahmapuram in kochi is becoming a boomerang Although Brahmapuram plant was inaugurated in 2008 as a place for proper management of solid waste eventually it got converted into a landfill as on March 2023 estimates there is an estimated volume of 5.5 lakh tons of unscientifically dumped legacy waste which is a mix of partially or completely decomposed biodegradable waste plastic waste textiles metals glass and other components at any cost fire at brahmapuram waste dump yard is objectionable mainly because open burning of municipal solid waste is a major source of dioxin emission and the same was confirmed in ambient air residual ash and sediments at 2019 brahmapuram fire itself by nist study and the observed levels were 50 and 10 times higher than reference and field blank data repeated fire incidents occurred year after year still no root cause analysis corrective actions and preventive actions repeated warnings by the national green tribunal on the impending disaster at brahmapuram also fell on the fears principal bench of the tribunal had taken note of the lapses way back in 2019 not scientifically functional and no authorization from the kerala state pollution control board since april 30 2010 of course fires are often reported at massive landfills mainly because of the methane generated as the waste decomposes but here knowing all dangers years before total negligence and kochi battled with severe toxic fumes as the fire from brahmapuram waste site took almost 12 days to die down as many as 30 fire tenders two navy helicopters aerial water sprays and over 120 fire force personnel became helpless to tackle the flames and smoke up to the 12th day Kochi city became just like a gas chamber as toxic fumes spread over to neighboring areas of radius several kilometers causing breathing difficulties skin irritations and reduced visibility even firefighters suffered breathing difficulties 75 hp pump installed with a hydrant line having six valves and 11 outlets non functional as the foot valve in nearby kadambraya river was non functional as it was filled with mud and plastic waste reports say that log books kept at the entrance for recording the quantity of biodegradable and plastic waste were illegible and lacked details again fire tenders could not enter many parts of the site as there was no proper road access fire incidents happen every year deliberate or accidental yet to be known hope and wish that truth will not go under the carpet
what we really need is a proactive approach from the authorities and not a postmortem approach after the fire hope this incident will become an eye opener to put our collective mindset to find a permanent solution so that the same is not repeated in the years to come what is needed is action on a war footing using modern technologies and not arguments some of the improvements urgently needed at a brahmapuram site are a road of width 8 meter around the compound of the site and roads of 6 meter criss crossing the planned premises another is segregation of the garbage into small heaps of 50 square meters next is a fire water tank of ample capacity to ensure ready availability of water at emergencies other requirements are storm water channels with a proper monitoring to ensure that leachate from the waste is not contaminating kadambraya river also we need piezometric wells at the boundary to assess ground water contamination public display of the quantity of waste reached every day and processed to be followed also we need to set up ambient air quality monitoring stations and display of the parameters the fire hydrant system needs to be made operational and periodical mock drills to be conducted to ensure efficacy also needed is permanent fire fighting facilities and excavators for working on the garbage proper security measures and drone surveillance are also required hope good governance with transparency accountability and responsibility will prevail also needed is a green belt around the premises to act as a natural buffer with this i am leaving you wish you happy watching